Greetings. My name is Jane Oboy Gasisio from Mongaza College, Nakuru, Kenya, Luanga District. And I'm Marianne Donahue Lynch from the District of Eastern North America. We would like to share with you the founding story of Osalian Women of Hope. It began with an encounter and a conversation. It was June of 2016 and I was visiting Bangaza College with a delegation from the District of Eastern North America. It was my second visit to the college and I had just completed visiting the homes of two female students, seeing their living situation, experiencing how they struggled to acquire an education. It was a humbling experience for me. My sister Jane arranged for me to have a conversation with a group of female students. And during that conversation, I inquired, what are some of the challenges and obstacles you face in completing your education? Several students mentioned the usual challenges, such as funds for tuition, transportation challenges. And then one young woman spoke up and her story impacted us all. She shared with the group that sometimes she has to miss classes because she cannot afford personal hygiene items for her monthly cycle. Therefore, she had to stay at home and miss classes. It is a very important class or exam. She will go into town, which is in Nakuru, Kenya, and engage in situational prostitution so she can have enough money to buy the hygiene items so she can attend classes and take her exams. Several other girls nodded in agreement. Immediately, we knew the need to address this obstacle. We decided to have a conversation with Brother Oscar, the head of the institution of Mongaza College, Nakuru. And a decision was made to establish a program to assist the female students with the personal hygiene items. We named the project the Salian Women of Hope. Since that time, we have expanded the program in Mongaza College and established a woman empowerment and mentorship programs for young women. We are now providing sanitary bags like this one, and we press them like this and cover them to restore their dignity and provide a way for them to safely carry their personal hygiene items. In July of 2017, the Lasallian Global Women's Symposium was held in New Zealand. I shared about the Lasallian Women of Hope program, this simple grassroots effort to remove a significant obstacle from girls and young women, and invited others to create similar programs or to support the establishment of a Lasallian Women of Hope program at their educational ministry. Lasallian Women of Hope addresses a need in our global Lasallian family. On November 4th, 2018, a letter of welcome from Solidarity and Development Secretariat was sent to Lasallian Women of Hope, congratulating them on their efforts and welcoming the mission and work of Lasallian Women of Hope to the Secretariat. Currently, La Serena Women of Hope has various programs focused on girls and women, health education leadership, mentoring and empowerment with core curriculum activities in Kenya, Papua New Guinea, South Africa, Haiti, Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Madagascar, India, the mission of Lasallian Women of Hope continues to grow. Recently, female students at LaSalle Academy in Providence, Rhode Island, decided to form a chapter of Lasallian Women of Hope after hearing about our mission. This student-led initiative is something that can be done at your educational ministry as well. To learn more about the mission and the programs of Lasallian Women of Hope, please visit this following website. Thank, Thank you. you.